This tutorial is for creating a NIL report. To do so, we have three steps. The first step is to create a NIL filer. The second step is to add a form to that NIL filer. And the third step is to generate an XML file for the NIL filer report. So here we go. Go up to number one in the left-hand corner where it says Reporting FI and click on My Filers List. When you get there, go ahead and click on Add in the lower right. Notice that at this screen there is a checkbox there that says Filer is used only for nil reporting. Click on that. The information for the EIN is optional. The global intermediary number you do have to put in. If you know your number, put it in. If you don't know your number, you can probably look it up by right-clicking in this box. I right-clicked. I can search by name by changing the current view from by gen to by name. Then in the search name field, I'll type in the name of my financial institution and I'll hit the tab key. Notice when I hit the tab key, it brought me down to a name that starts with 1099. I'll highlight that and then I'll click on select. It's there. Pair code is a unique identifier. In this case, I'm going to use a pair code, which could be arbitrary of NIL. I'll tab to the foreign tin. I don't have one, so I'll skip it. I'll go down to the country. In this case, we can go ahead and say, instead of USA, we'll say it's a different country. We'll go ahead and scroll down and find the right country. And we'll take Belarus, select. Here we type in the filer name. I'll make it simple and I'll just put in filer name. Your name of course would be different. I tab down to the address and notice both of these fields will hold 180 characters. If I hit the enter key while I'm in the box, I can put filer address line 2. This is called the address free format. The city down here, I'll go ahead and put down a city for another country. So we'll just make one up. And then here we'll put in what the postal code would be. Tab again. And we go down to the department. This is required. Click on Add. Type in the name of your department. The contact title of whoever is there. contact name, and phone number. And then click OK. All right, we're done making the filer. Let's go ahead and save that information. And we'll move over to the second step. And that's to add a filer to the NIL report. We go to number two, preparing my forms, and we click on work with my tax forms and I have the wrong filer selected so I'm going to go ahead and click on select another filer. I want to use the nil filer that I had so I click on nil then I click on select. I'll go back to work with my tax forms under number two and notice I have nothing. Well if I want to submit a, a nil report I need to add one form to this filer and only one so I'll click on add in the lower right And here's the one form. If I click Save, then it will go ahead and save that one form, and that will create my NIL report. If, for example, I also have a sponsored entity or intermediary, I would go ahead and right click on the TIN right here. And notice I don't have an SE or an intermediary here, so I'll add one. It's very simple. I click on Add. I could put their TIN if I have it. Here, it's, I'm going to leave it blank. And I will just call this an SE, Sponsored Entity. And I could go on with the name, a few other things. Tab down, and I can change the address type if I want. In this case, I won't change it. I'll just put SE Address. Again, I have 180 characters to work with. We'll call this SE City. And in this case, it's a US address, so we'll go ahead and take one of the defaults they have. Click on Second Creek and select. 
and then the global GIN go ahead and right click on it again go and look up whoever you want by name in this case I'll go ahead and type in a number two and we'll see where that takes us and we'll use this the, the two Park Street Trust just as an example right we're good we say save and we'll select this one as our SE and now we have this particular gin right there that's fine we'll go ahead and save this information record is saved click OK to get rid of that message cancel because we've already saved it and now you see the one record for our nil report the third and final step is we'll create our nil report so we'll go to create XML number three on the left side we'll go ahead and click on XML v1.1 file we're going over here to where it says create a nil report I clicked on it tells you a little bit about the process click next click next go ahead and tag the filer or the filers that we want to create the nil report for so I'll go ahead and click tag that puts it there click next and we could either do a test or we could do it an original a test will not create a log we're going to go ahead and create the log here by clicking on original and then next this is where it will put our file if we wanted to put it somewhere else we could change that by clicking on that button to select a different folder we'll click next this all looks good we'll click next and we'll click finish and we've created the one file that we have right there and that's where the file is I'll click OK and the next step for you would be to go to the IDS packager and encrypt and sign the uh, file with your digital certificate but we've covered that in another video thank you very much